Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm going to teach you on how to paint um, a realistic autumn leaf okay so this will be a maple leaf it's, it will just be a basic guys and easy tutorial okay so it will be of course a yellow leaf or yellow orange with a little green something like that okay so bef but before that I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use I'll be using the limited colors so I have different colors guys in one leaf so I'll be using the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the burnt amber so I'm using burnt amber guys because uh, I started the replacement of black and if you want to mix or to get a dark color you just have to mix it with blue to make it dark and I'm using um, limited colors guys because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay and these are my brushes I'll be using only three brushes I have the number eight nylon flat brush long handled number seven nylon flat brush short handled and number zero um, liner brush for the details and this is my and bus guys is it's um eight by ten inches it has three cuts of prime white acrylic you can also use gesso I made it myself and water to thin the paint okay so I think if, if we're gonna need weather spray guys we just have to use this okay and of course the pencil guys for the sketching okay so I think I'm gonna start now and I'm going to do first the sketching, I'm gonna do for I'm gonna sketch first the the leaf and then I'm gonna do painting. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put the leaf here at the center. I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make it big so that we can see it clearly. There. So it's gonna be a big a huge leaf guys. So we're gonna put some segment something like this. This kind of leaf guys has um finger yeah it, it looks like a finger. There. So now let's it you have now the the very basic shape and we're gonna put some details. So it has some pointed um, edges guys, like this. Okay. I'm going to put more pointed leaves here pointed edges there I think this will just be an easy tutorial guys and I I actually um, recommend you on doing this one for the practice so that uh, this will be a good practice guys exercise so that you will learn how to paint uh, some realistic object like this one so this will be a good 
okay guys practicing your skills okay so here and also guys um practice without using traceable so that you can have you will know the better way of drawings you can practice and of course you will learn okay So let's put more pointed edges. Looks like a turn, guys. Here. Okay, this will be the where all the details or the all this. I didn't want to do that, guys. But this will all meet here on this part. Okay, so here. I think there's something wrong, guys. Yeah. Not really sure. We'll just show first the uh, anatomy, guys, of this part of the. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with our drawing. And we need to retouch or erase some parts here. Okay. So let's erase here. Yeah, I think I'm going to move a little bit here. It should be this part on this part also. Yeah. I'll change a little bit here, guys. So, to have a little corrections, and here is gonna put there, also here. erase some some mistakes here okay so let's make it pointed here okay Okay, that's it guys, so I think that will be fine, that will be okay. So we have now, the f we have now finished to our first step, which is the drawing. Okay, so I think we're gonna start painting now. Okay. So let's put first the orange 
yellows and orange guys on uh, on this so since yellow is the lightest or the lightest of the color so we're gonna do it first I'm gonna put it first here so just fill this everything with yellow there Okay, and let's mix it with red to make some orange there so let's put some orange guys a small amount of orange there that's it Not just orange guys but also red. You can use the red. And have a little orange shades here and also here and here just gonna put more orange there okay and I'll be using a smaller brush guys because it's better than using the bigger brush Okay, I'll be using the raw umber. It's gonna put some dots here, and it's gonna put some the the stock there. So it should be. Do not make it too big, guys. Just enough. Just make it, uh, yeah, I think that size will be okay. There. And also, we're gonna put some dark tones, guys, on this leaf. So, here, we're gonna put some dark. So, I think we're gonna make it, we're gonna spray it with a little water to make it wet. There. So that it will be easier for us to, to create some strokes. There, and let's put more. This part is really dry. Okay. That's it. So just follow the patterns, guys. That's all you have to do. And let's mix some raw umber with red to make it brownish and a yellow. There. That's it. It should be a brown, guys. it more brown color so I think I'm gonna put it here
Okay. So let's put a little brownish here and let's put the uh, I do not know what to call this guy some stock between the or look like a branch on the on the leaf there and also here Do not make it too big guys, just, just the size should be enough. And here you can use the small the smallest brush which is the number one liner brush so that you can have a smaller details. If you are having a hard time using this brush. There. That's it. Now I'm going to use this brown with white to make some darker color here, darker tone there. That's it. This um, lift guys began um, decaying, so it should be something like should be lots of brown on it. There. Okay. Let's add more. Add more brown tones. Okay, so if you are painting, we can just follow what I'm doing. Okay. Let's add a little white on this color here, and let's put it here with some red. I'm going to put more red here. There. Okay, so I'm going to put more yellow. So I'll be mixing yellow, guys, because I'm going to put more some green color. So just use the yellow and blue here. More blue. And let's put some green tones here on this part. So I'm, I think I'm gonna add a little red to make it darker. There, that's it. So we can just follow the pattern guys, the sketch or the, the pencil, there. Okay, so you just have to blend this part. Yeah. And of course here we're gonna put more greens. Okay. 
dodge it. More here. Let's also put some shades of green here guys and anywhere here. There. Let's put more shades of greens. There. And of course here it's gonna put some shades. We will cut the the colors guys everywhere. It will um, help make the painting more realistic there so let's add more red let's fill this part with more red So I'm going to apply a little spray guys. So I'm going to mix again with the with orange, so yellow and red. I'm going to put some orange here. So all you have to do is you just fill it up with the colors that you see here. It doesn't have to be perfectly blend guys. It doesn't have to be perfect, per perfectly blended. There. Okay. Then I'm gonna put more here. Okay. Yeah. And I'll be using some brown here, guys. Uh, I used a while ago. And let's put some more branches. I don't know what to call this, guys, but I just call it branches. There. It's still wet, guys, but we need to put it there. Yeah, it's still a little wet. So just follow guys what I'm doing here. Okay. That's it. Okay. I'll be using the raw umber so that we can have a darker tone. I mean guys you can use the smaller the smallest brush which is the liner brush if you are having a hard time using this brush. There. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use this red here again. I'm gonna put more red tones here. more red tones and some raw umber there okay and more here there okay so again guys, if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing now. And let's make this part darker. And here, of course, I'm going to make this part darker. It's a bit another technique, guys. But you can let it try, guys, so that you can have uh, better blendings. Okay, it is here if it's dry. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to use some more red. You can add more reds here. There. Okay. And also here. So we have to follow the patterns guys, the one that we, or the sketches that we did um, on the first step. Here. Yeah. And let's put some more dark tones here. There. So let's put more stains, guys, of colors. Okay, so I think I'm going to mix more green. So I'll be using the blue and the yellow, of course. There. So let's put more greens here. Actually guys this is better when it's when it's um dry. But I have no choice guys because I need to finish it on time. There. So again guys you can let it dry and you can add more coats while it's dry, it's better when you and if you are using um a better acrylics like heavy body that will be a good one a good choice 
but it's a most a more expensive than this so I still recommend using this um student grade acrylics because you're gonna need tons of acrylic guys to to practice you're gonna need more of this uh, in order to learn more techniques okay here there yeah I like it so I think I just continue more adding I think yellows so here so yellow guys will blend the colors there so we just have to blend all the colors especially in this part else so I think guys what we need to add I think it look it looks real and I'll just have to retouch guys more so I'm going to add more red here So here. And with a little read here. There. Okay. Okay, what else? So I think I'm going to add more orange, so just red and orange here. So you just have to do it guys one by one and slowly so that you are avoiding uh, you avoid the uh, or avoid overdoing the, the blendings or overdoing things on it okay more here there so I think I am done guys yeah it's just very simple tutorial wait I think I'm going to add more white so here on the on this part I'm going to add some light actually guys you can oh, you can use one brush only in this tutorial we don't need three brushes there 
you just have to put white this will add more details okay there and here this will add some shiny effect guys but on the on the side of the stock or side of the branch you can actually use the smaller brush guys if you if you're having a hard time using this brush yeah that's it so I think I am done guys I am finally done with this tutorial so it's a, just a very easy tutorial guys for the beginner so I if you think it's hard guys I encourage you to paint it I encourage you to try it because yeah you might learn something out of this especially the blendings or adding adding lots of colors in in just um, a simple object okay so please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and um thank you guys for watching this video today and my advice guys keep on practicing keep on painting the more you, the more you know how to use your brush the more you know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors because i want you to learn how to mix and get the entire colors you want okay guys so this is a little summary so we are painting guys a maple or an auto maple tr a leaf and it's it has lots of colors like yellows orange reds browns and greens so we just have to mix the colors here but it doesn't mean that we mix it all we just have to put something like a yellow here the brown here the red here and the and uh, this part some let's call this um the, the greens okay so okay guys thank you very much have a nice day and god bless you all